all of the parents. Please look out. The worst thing you did as a teen that your parents don't know about. Um, we were both, we were both, gen I mean, pretty good kids. We, we I honestly, told on myself. Oh my God. <laughs> the first time I came, I was like 11 and I smoked a cigarette. My older sister gave me a cigarette and I felt so guilty that as soon as my mom came home, I just like, I just was just immediately as soon as I saw her, I started crying. I was like, man, I smoked a cigarette. I smoked something else. I tried it. But I told him myself, I told my mom. There's nothing That's better it. than, a, you know, a child feeling comfortable enough to confide in their parents in I their mistakes. I told my mom pretty much the next day. No, absolutely. Like, <laughs> and my mom was so sweet about it. She was just like, I. She just, she just praised me on my honesty, which was her biggest thing. She was just like, I'm really glad you told me. I think it was really important that you told me. I don't want to ever, I don't want you to ever feel like you can't come tell me something like this because I, I want to be aware. That's how my mom and my sister Yeah, were. exactly, which is a really so I didn't good really have secrets. parental move and it's very easy to be honest with my mom. It is super easy to be honest with her because she was very much like, you know, she takes it with stride, she, you know, and mm -hmm. I think that was a good move on her part for doing something like that. So, you know, I, so there's nothing really that I have that I haven't told my mom. It's, okay. it's always been really easy to tell yeah. her anything because it's like, all right, this is what you're telling me. Well, this is, let's come up with a solution to fix it. Let's, you know, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Why are you doing it? You know? That's how my mom and my stepdad were. And like, I never felt like I had to hide anything either. Right, because right. Because it was just. You know, and it's just like, you know. Besides this video. I want to hide this video. Yeah. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Except for this video. This is. I'm going to search bitch in your text message history and read it. It's probably a text to my mom is what I'm going to get. That's my prediction. Oh no! Where did I say it? That's to me. <laughs> you can't read that. I can't. Oh my you god! You can't read that. Take a shot. I was so mean. <laughs> you're not bed drunk. You're smart and you're thinking. It's the same text that I sent her. You can read it loud, and I would not be offended whatsoever. You no, but she might. Oh my god! Uh, least favorite family member. But I will, plot twist, it is a family member that was in the text message about being a oh. Plot twist, that's who it is. How many gifts did you give out this holiday season that were re-gifted? One. One, I sure did. I took one. that gift and I wrapped it up and I gave it away because I was in Two, one. Two, three... Four. I'm gonna say at least four or five. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. The gift I regifted, which I am absolutely not sorry for whatsoever, was a regifted really? self. So that gift had been regifted to me, and the person who gave it to me was awesome. Totally loved the fact that they were super honest. They were like, I regifted this, and I was like, awesome. Felt no guilt whatsoever about regifting it. It went to the right person. That gift made its way to the right recipient. About the things I re-gifted, it wasn't that I didn't like those items, it was the fact that I'm broke. I uh, needed gifts for these people, and the gifts that I had received were very obscure. They got the gifts. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. I don't, like, so. even if I got a gift that was re-gifted, I wouldn't be offended because you're getting something at the end of the day. A gift is making its way to the right person. Yeah, Paul. And wherever it lands, whoever decides that we're like, hey, I got this <laughs> gift, I want to keep it, you know? Because I wouldn't be offended if someone re-gifted one of my gifts. Three honest wishes from a genie. I got mine. I got mine. Three. Okay, so my wishes would be to go back in time to three years ago. I would wish just, just for $5,000, I would put it in the Tesla stock and let it sit there. And then the third wish... I wish for your freedy, freedom. I said freedy. Freedom, genie. Because I don't believe in slavery. Because I'm woke. Oh, well, it's going to make me sound awful. I want a bank account that constantly refills itself. I want to be a, a stay-at-home mom. Is that oh, that's a good a, wish? That's a good wish. Mm -hmm. And to a stay-at-home mom that can afford it without having to do like some kind of crazy pyramid scheme that's stupid. <gasps> Third wish. Sorry, genie. I want unlimited... Unlimited groceries. Like, I don't have to go to the grocery store. It just, like, shows up without me having to put any kind of work into ordering it. Like, it just shows up. 
that might not make sense. Just a restocking pantry. Yes. This is a restocking pantry. Pretty much. So yeah, and then he's he goes to her first, <laughs> comes to me, then he's free. I'm a genie in a bar. Oh, here baby. comes a shot. Are you <laughs> he dominant or submissive? Eagle rights. I'm both. I'm both. I'm confused about your answer, but I'm taking a shot. Age when you lost your virginity, 15. I was also 15. I'm pretty sure they think I was yeah. like 17. <laughs> Is it? I mean, you gotta think. She's married her life, her lifelong love. She's never married brother's him. <laughs> she, yeah, she's been with the same dude since she was like two. She's not the kind of girl to hit it and quit it. She hit it and then stayed for one thing. My mom ta did teach 12 me years. is that if you do, if you're gonna have sex, make sure it's with somebody who you love and who respects you. Oh wow! See, mm -hmm. I wish I got that speech. Rap on the spot. <laughs> Or do I need do I need to pre a shot? No, no. You got this. Okay, I don't know if this counts. Cause it's not really. It's part of a, a rapper song. Don't get copyright strike. Lose yourself in the music, the moment you own it. You better never let it go. You only got one what? shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Oh, oh, even better. There's a Taylor Swift rap. It's more yeah, of a rap. I thought you said even better. I did say even better. I love Taylor Swift. <laughs> you gonna say Taylor Swift when you just rap him and him. Um, say you're a white girl without saying you're a white girl. <laughs> uh, clubbing, I just make caramel delight, tea, swift and tea, pain repping on the same track. It's a love story now, can you handle that? Give me a beat, I'm gonna oh freestyle. God. I'm gonna freestyle. Just kidding, I'm taking a shot. <laughs> I was really trying to think of a rap and I only got two, two lines. Bars. Cars. Bars. No, no, no. I thought you were just like looking for a rhyme. I was gonna say coming in hot, taking <laughs> shots on a YouTube. Yeah, I was gonna. That's a you just rapped. There you oh, go. that counts. All right. <laughs> Favorite sexual pleasure. Oh my god. De sex. I need you to pour me a shot. De sex. I was thinking they meant what sexual pleasure. <laughs> oh. I, I can't say things specifics. about getting. How many kids do you want? None. None. Like three or four? She'll have six kids. I want like She's gonna have six. A I'm whole, calling it now. Like a whole team. <laughs> I want zero kids. I want I have three cats and I'm very overwhelmed. I want all of them. And I really love the idea of her having a bunch of children. I get to come over and play with them. She can take them and then give them back. <laughs> I am an auntie at heart. I was born an auntie. <laughs> I'm gonna live to be an auntie. And that's it. Craziest place you had sex at the foot of the bed. Really? Oh, I'm wild. Stop playing. I'm wild. I'm gonna take a shot. Where? Where are you? Who is your favorite sibling? Easy Gunner. <laughs> Rebecca. Say my my ten year old brother. I have her tattooed over my heart. That was easy because we have so many. There's always one you gravitate we, towards. It is, it is. Like, and I even know if any of my siblings are watching this, they're not going to be offended because he's probably theirs too. I, like, I literally only have one sibling's name tattooed on my body. So, if they knew that, I've had a tattoos on me since I was 18. First sexual experience. <gasps> when I lost my virginity. It was horrible. I hated it. It was, I was watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail was on in the background. And I'm all not I laughing at you, I remember behind <laughs> And all I can remember was like looking over the dude's shoulder being like, God, I wish this was over. God, I wish this was over. This was a the horrible decision. The movie. No, the movie was great. <laughs> it's a great movie. It's a great movie. That was the only thing keeping me going through it. So I'm not going to give too many details. I'm just going to say that beforehand we had gone and we went to Red Lobster. And so... Old Bay or whatever spicy seasoning on fingers. Oh. I'm gonna leave it at that. This sounds painful. We're sexual. Experience. I don't even like it when that seasoning hits my mouth. Really? Le I love spicy food. Let but alone not my hoo -ha. down there. <laughs> Cold water does not help. No, that makes your pores <laughs> contract. You gotta put hot water if you And I only answered that cause because I couldn't take another shot right now. <laughs> Favorite type of food? whole foods i like one ingredient food since i'm sitting here eating cookies and pretzels but it will meat meat mostly if it's a meat i want to eat 
between cho anything chocolate and like I really love Alfredo. Like shrimp Alfredo. I love shrimp Alfredo. Yeah, I love meat. I was a vegetarian for eight years and a vegan for one. And I will never in my life do that oh, to, to myself again. Your salary. Just broke this shell. <laughs> do I need a shot? <laughs> I just think it's tacky to disclose your salary in general. I don't think anyone should. I do make a it. decent living, I will say. But I will say I qualified for a stimulus check this Ooh. year. Where has been your least favorite place to work? <laughs> All right, so if you're from the local Virginia Beach 757 area, I worked in 2007 at a place called Beach Brew. It was a coffee place, and I absolutely hated it. I cried every day before I had to go to work because I had the most toxic boss on the entire planet. And if you're watching this, I, I hate you. I worked for four hours at Sunrise Pizzeria. Four hours, this is a lot. I quit after Wait, four hours. Wait, which location? The one off back? Oh, the on one Millfield, off Mi Military Highway. <laughs> Millfield. <laughs> and, um, I worked there for four hours, and then she came to see me on my thing, and um, she said, well, when you're done with this, come see me when you're done to um, see when you get on the schedule next, and I said, I'm not no, thank coming you. back. Biggest regret. So, three years ago, I gave my dog up. And I cry about it to this day. I regret giving my dog up for adoption because I was in a position where I could not have her. She was one of the greatest dogs and I just... My biggest regret... I was going to take a shot for this when I first read the questions, but I'm just going to say it because people should know. My first... My biggest regret is flushing my first miscarriage. Down the toilet. Least favorite thing about your spouse... My my significant other is he's too sexy for me to function. <laughs> he's so attractive that it's hard for me to get things done. It's hard for me not to rub oh my, my body on his body. It's hard for me not to kiss him. It's real. Just walking in. It's real. It's real tough living with somebody that's got the juiciest booty you've ever seen in your whole life. You're not getting nothing done. You're not being productive. You're not doing nothing. It's, it's delicious. My least favorite thing about my one girl's <laughs> dress. I just walked in. You're perfect, babe. I don't want to take that shot. I've shot. I'm tipsy. <laughs> totally we only had. This is the last question. What? It's the last one. What? Sing in your best voice. Absolutely. <laughs> Sit back. <laughs> Joe, I can't sing if, if you're staring at me. Just turn the corner. <laughs> Doe, a deer, a female deer. <laughs> Ray, a golden drop of sun. <laughs> oh, that's the words. A, a drop of golden sun. A drop of golden sun. <laughs> Record labels. Contact me. Ba la 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 la. See the light where the sky meets the sea. It calls me. And no one knows how far it goes. With the wind and my sail on the sea, it stays behind me. And no one knows. If I go, there's just no telling how far I go. I'd probably be way better if I was sober. <laughs> so, a deer, a female deer, a ray, a I golden drop of sun. So we finished all of the questions. They're all gone. I'm I know my husband's laughing in the hallway. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take this last shot because right, I'm already cheers. If you enjoyed this or you laughed at any point, please subscribe to my channel. And like because we're super dope, we're freezy. Also, family, again, once again. Please don't ever bring this don't up. Don't ever bring this up to us again because we're going to just use the excuse. We were drunk. We don't remember. We weren't sober. We don't, what? My husband has what the happened? cutest smile in the hallway right now. He's like, oh, he can't wait for your hangover tomorrow morning. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.